magandang hapon po. Can we have the lights on over there? Okay, I just want to see a show of hands. Who's already working in marketing or the communications or media industry? Oh, a lot of you. Who plans to work for, uh, in marketing uh, or communications or the media industry? Okay, and who currently works for me at McDonald's Marketing? Sorry, I just have to check attendance. Okay, very good. You are here. All right. Um, let me start first with, I'm going to share with you five lessons. Okay. Um, uh, they all start with a C, so hopefully you can remember all our five Cs. And this is all about our experience specifically for McDonald's Philippines. Uh, we do work, of course, uh, for a global brand, uh, but we are given a framework and we're able to move uh, with some freedom within that framework. So a lot of the examples I'm going to share with you uh, are really locally initiated. First, those of you who are working or will work okay, in marketing, please, digital is not just about marketing. I think Eric already shared earlier that it's everything. In our company, we had to tell everyone digital is a business imperative. It can't just be the responsibility of the marketing department. It has to be a way for your brand to connect with the customers and even your employees. Second, digital marketing is also not just about a Facebook fan page. That's so 2010, okay? And it is also not about a hashtag or trending. Okay, hopefully, um, after about 15 minutes of sharing, you'll be able to pick up a few points. So first, it is about consistency. Remember, the brand is always your filter, and the customer is your focus. When we say that, you must really know who your brand is, who your brand is not, and what brand and what role it plays in the lives of your customer. If you do not know that, then you will get confused with all the noise out there, as Ed has shared, and you will not be able to really focus on that signal. That is your best filter. For us, we say at McDonald's, it is only real when it is real in our store. But we all know that our lives don't just revolve around the physical world. There is such a thing as the virtual world, and therefore we want people to also feel McDonald's even outside our store, perhaps still in the physical world, uh, but also shared experiences in the digital world. So let me just... Uh, show you through an example. It's no secret that Manila traffic is bad. Even worse when you have to pay up for it. So McDonald's decided to make a typical rush hour Impressive 
Wow, thank you. You might be wondering why Neo was in the video. Uh, we were one of 24 cities that participated in a global effort called I'm Loving It 24. On March 24, we surprised our customers okay, with uh, different acts of joy. Uh, ours was a McToll booth. Uh, and in Los Angeles, where it culminated, it started in Sydney and it culminated in Los Angeles, Neo actually crowdsourced uh, lyrics for his new song called Give Loving. And he performed it for the first time in a free concert in LA. So that's why he was in that video. So a related uh, topic, later on I will talk about collaboration, but our second C is context. Context is important because it is not just about, you will always hear, be agile. Uh, it's agile marketing. Earlier, um, Ed referred to it as agile creativity. It cannot just be about speed. Agility also is about the right context and the perfect timing. Now, um, you can... Uh, you can have a great idea, and it is magnified, actually, and it becomes more relevant if you do it in the right context. Because then, your customers really appreciate the meaning of your brand. So, uh, there are several right, signals you can pick up. And you have to realize that there are two types of content. One is... Content that responds to something that's very predictable. You can predict Christmas, you can predict uh, when Valentine's Day will be, you can predict when your next campaign will be. Um, and that one, you can prepare for it. You also have unpredictable events. One is an event that you anticipate, which is going to be my example, but you cannot predict the outcome. And you also have events that you really cannot anticipate. For example, somebody's just going to decide uh, to declare that Hello Kitty is not a cat. And you respond to that. Or somebody is going to debate whether the dress is blue or black or white or gold. And we, you can also still respond to that. So those are types of content that you have to deal with. And therefore, you must have a framework for it. This content that I'm going to share with you in a bit is unpredictable in the sense that the outcome is unpredictable, but it was a highly anticipated event.
I, it's always painful to show that video, you know, it, it still hurts. Uh, we actually had a win card, a win social card. It would have been sweet, period. You beat the Mayweather. Okay, unfortunately, it never, uh, we were never able to put it out. Okay, um, my next point is, oh, by the way, there was another hashtag that came out of that campaign, which was hashtag promote the copywriter. She's our creative director already. Okay. Okay. Third point, uh, collaboration. In marketing, it is not new when people will tell you, please listen to the customer. Listen. Listen to their, uh, to their needs, to what they want, uh, to how they're reacting to your product. That's why we've invested in research, okay, uh, in the old days. Now, uh, they, there is a tool for them, okay, to give that feedback. In fact, they even give ideas. So much as we would like to take credit for uh, being the first brand to have come out with Aldab, those ideas were already picked up in the first two weeks uh, by our agency partners, Leo Burnett, because we do have a listening tool and they clamored for it. The nation asked for it. Aldab Nation was saying, Dapat magdate sila at sa magdo sila pumunta. Okay, they had lots of ideas, and we simply responded. So nowadays, you collaborate with uh, your operations team, your sales team, uh, your finance team, maybe your IT team, but you also collaborate uh, with your, of course, your customers. So. Let me just tell you the story of uh, how we ended up uh, with Aldab. So they clamored for it, we listened, and then we started to shoot our commercial on September 5. So on their second week survey, okay, uh, Leo Burnett already spotted the opportunity, and then they presented the storyboard to us on the, I think, third or fourth week of their week survey. Uh, by the fifth week, we had closed Alden as a talent. We had to wait for the eight Bulaga executives to fly back from abroad on the fifth week. So on the sixth week, we were able to close uh, Maine. On the seventh week, we prepared to shoot. On the eighth week, we shot. We did it in six days. And on the ninth week, we broke. During the shoot, I already observed people with phones because Maine Mendoza was there in the McDonald's store and people knew that she was shooting a commercial, obviously for us. So we asked, check, check, uh, use a listening tool, check Twitter, what's happening in the Twitterverse. True enough, the episode, uh, that Saturday's episode was the plywood episode, do you remember this? And she got kidnapped at the end of that episode. And so the Twitter, Feed said, it's Ronald McDonald who kidnapped uh, Yaya Dub because he brought her to the shoot. Okay. So we decided, you know, let's just not um, deny it. We don't necessarily have to admit it categorically, but we had a whole free teaser campaign. So rather than just get so hung up on the fact that it got preempted, we decided let's go. Let's just go with it, and every week, we just feed them with what they wanted with a different hashtag. Um, it was the most anticipated, just as much as the Mayweather Pacquiao fight, commercial release we've ever had. It became a trending topic uh, locally, okay, and globally. And these were just organic views. Organic means we did not pay a single peso. You can do that. There is such a thing as paid uh, social media or paid digital media. Uh, we didn't even have to invest to come up with numbers like this. This is the latest one.
Paglabas nyo dito, yan ang kakantahin nyo. Okay, so even our uh, followers and our fans, in all our social media channels, we started to notice an increase. So I even included the Twitter uh, account of my boss, Kenneth Yang. When we first launched his Twitter account, internally, it was really meant to be able to connect with our crew. We launched it, and at the end of that day of the launch, he had about 96 followers. I had to force four more employees so we could hit 100. Okay, and then, look at this. It was actually, what you're seeing here is outdated. He already has about 13,000 followers. So uh, it's really amazing if you're able to connect, okay, with your customers that the, the whole Aldab Nation really supported uh, and followed his account. Um, we're just careful because after all, Kenneth Yang is still the president and CEO of McDonald's and he is not the president of the Aldab chapter in Urdaneta Village. Okay, we've got a lot of praises from fans. They continue to give us ideas. They're telling us, please come out with a happy meal. And the toy should be all the Kalia Serie uh, characters, okay? <laughs> We're still trying to figure that out. Uh, so the, you'll be amazed uh, if you're able to really collaborate uh, with your customers. Uh, they are very generous, actually, with their ideas. That's a special message from Alden. And again, he apologizes. He, we actually tried to get him, but his schedule is just extremely busy. And so he did that video for you. Okay, two more points. I know, it's so disappointing. Okay. Point on courage. Um, digital is fairly, I think, a new thing for a lot of people in our industry, uh, especially if you work for a brand like ours in McDonald's, where essentially they call a brick and mortar, we're a global brand, we have 10 million rules that you have to deal with. You really have to have that courage to move from pre-testing everything to really a test and learn approach. And that's what we've adopted since about maybe 2011. We've, uh, we believe that if you don't experiment and make the mistakes on your own, you will never get those learnings so that you can take advantage of it actually against competition. We'd rather make the mistakes ourselves and learn from it, okay, so that we can do it right uh, after that, ahead of the rest. And part of that courage actually is... Um, is there's a certain discomfort, and I think it's good. An IBM CEO said positive discomfort is necessary if you really want to innovate and if you want to grow as a business, and we embrace that kind of thinking. 
So one of the things that uh, we've invested in, and it's believing, you already know, in multi-screen uh, viewing. But we had to identify that Twitter specifically is not just a second screen to television, but it is a second live screen. Uh, and because of that, we wanted to collaborate, actually, with uh, Twitter. We found a technology that they offer called Twitter Amplify, but it was a television network who had to be able to um, have an agreement with Twitter to make this happen. And so we approached ABS-CBN, sports in particular. Sports is a live event. It has an unpredictable outcome. Sometimes you won't even know there's something happening until you check your Twitter. Then you realize, oh, it's the game uh, of UAAP for Ateneo La Sal, although bukas pa yon, uh, and therefore you're going to tune in. So it actually helps increase even TV viewership. So that was our pitch to ABS-CBN. So this live screen uh, for Twitter, we, we made this work for us uh, with the UAAP cheer dance competition. So if something is happening in the MOA on ground for the cheer dance, that you're witnessing on television, there's also something happening in the Twitterverse. You will get to see a different camera angle because it is fed through Twitter Amplify. Uh, then, McDonald's participated by also offering you your own cheer dance competition in the Twitterverse, which was really a promotion and encouraging each school to tweet a hashtag. Of course, some of them, like I said, our customers, they're very generous with their own ideas and they come up, okay, with user-generated content. So if you'll see uh, on the upper right, that is an example of a video feed through Twitter that is sponsored by McDonald's and shot by ABS-CBN using and feeding it to Twitter using Twitter Amplify. So we, we asked everybody, so ang nanalo sa cheer dance competition ay NU, Pero sa McDo Bon Fries on Twitter for cheer dance, ang nanalo ay UE. So we were still able to get that participation. And this is just the start of our three-way uh, um, partnership okay, with Twitter and ABS-CBN uh, for really maximizing Twitter as a live second screen. Lastly, concern. Listen to the signal, not the noise. This is a picture, actually, on, the, on this side. That didn't come from the brand. That came from a netizen who was so proud of this boy because despite the conditions, he really wanted to study. Later on, we got to know him as Daniel Cabrera. He's nine years old. He wants to be a policeman, and he's from Mandawe, Cebu. And so the Cebu Police Academy gave him his scholarship in college. And so McDonald's responded and gave him uh, all the expenses he needs from grade school to high school to complete okay, his education. We didn't expect, actually, that it would be picked up by Huffington. That actually came from our global office who started to call us and ask for the details. We weren't really noisy about it. What was important to us, what we, we also wanted to donate, actually, uh, to his Subang Daku Elementary School, dyan nag si uh, Daniel Cabrera, and we donated, um, we call Read to Learn Kits to teach public schools to read. Concern is still important, and so just to sum it up, my five C's on learnings, consistency with the brand, brand is the filter, customer is the focus, context, collaboration, courage, and concern. Thank you very much.